Okay, I'm ready to introduce you to your laptop's touchpad and the select keys right near it. This is the touchpad here, and these are the, the keys that I'll be uh, speaking to you about now. As far as the touchpad goes, it moves the arrow across your screen, left and right, up and down in circles, however your finger moves, so will the arrow. In order for it to work well, only one finger on the pad would make the, the, uh, this touchpad work best. If you want to travel a long distance across your screen or up and down your screen, keep your finger in contact and keep moving it along. If you want to move it just a little, you could push it just a little to exactly where you want it to go. And that's how the touchpad works. Now, with these little keys near the touchpad, I'm going to refer to the left key as the select key and the right key as the menu key. Some t on some applications, you'll need to click twice on the select key to get what you want. In other applications, you'll only have to click it once. With your menu key, you click it once, a menu comes up, you move your arrow to the selection on your menu, and then you select only one click from your select button. You'll get accustomed to this as you go, but for now, this I'm calling your select key, and this I'm calling you the menu key. So now let's go over to the screen and see how this works. I'll first clear the screen. I'll bring the camera up so you can see on the corner of your screen. Let's make sure that's clear. There it is. You'll see Google. Google it. We always talk about Google it anytime you have a question, anytime you want something. So I'm going to take one finger and I'm going to move the arrow over to Google it. There's the arrow coming into view. And you'll notice when I go, the arrow makes contact with this, it's going to show you, um, okay, in this case it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's how you, right now you have your arrow over Google, Google it. Now, if I, I, in this case, I want to give you the example. With one click of the left select key, you'll see it lights up, but it doesn't really do anything other than that. In order to get to Google, with the left clicker, you'll have to click the select key twice. One, two. And then it starts, and uh, voila, there's your application, and Google pops up. Okay. Now I'm going to slide the arrow key over and close this. This is how you close the screen. You'll see an X in the corner of the screen. And that's how you close your application. Click once on your select key, the left key, and the screen goes away. Let's go back over to the corner here, where the Google uh, icon, they call them. This got Google icon, and I'm going to bring the select the arrow back over, sliding the touchpad. There it is again. But this time, rather than clicking the uh, application with the left clicker, I'm going to click once on the right key, which I'm calling the menu key, and you'll see a menu comes up. You'll then take one finger on the pad, go over to open, and then with your left key, the select key, click it only once. And again, the Google application opens. So I'm going to bring it back down now to the pad to summarize again. There we are. This is your touchpad where you move the arrow. This is the left key I'm calling the select key, which could be sometimes activates only with one click. If you don't get what you want, click it twice and you'll get what you want. Or Move your arrow to where you want the application you want. Click the right key once, you'll get a menu, and then make your selection only once. And you'll get what you want. Well, I hope that's clear. I'm going to explain a few other things on another recording, but for now, this is the recording you'll use if you want to review your touchpad and the two keys near the touchpad, the select key, and the menu key. Okay, bye-bye now.